Hello everyone, my name is Iretiogo Debra Alalade. The basic reason for this video is to tell people my experience with Kachi Beauty products and Ireti Dwell. Um, basically, sometimes just before the lockdown, I was trying to start a business in the airline beauty product. So I registered my business here in the UK, um, BID Bodyline and i have been looking for how to get my products basically from china but due to the pandemic i was looking elsewhere why i was looking out for a product i am a follower of iriti dwell so on our account she talked about her daughter kachi abim ngozi kachi abimbola oye olu or something and she talked about her being the china of africa that basically she brought the hair and then she does production and deliver to people who wants to resell and when i visited her page she talked about selling just all sales and haul i studied the page for some time speak to some people on the page and then i made my first payment the girl i spoke to told me oh she's not a scam that people has been opening fake accounts along the line I made payments and after I made payments um, she promised delivery for that particular badge badge B to be in August and um, she started badge C immediately after she stopped taking payments for the badge B and the badge C payment was supposed to happen in December so I make a total payment of 455,000 in Naira and i sent my payment evidence just the way she has asked us to the first payment evidence was sent to her email address and she responded in august i think to confirm and to tell sorry she responded in july to confirm um, delivery in august and then for the second payment it was an online thing you have to fill a google form and the google form would definitely give you an automatic reply which after I did that, I sent my payment evidence also through the email because of stories that touches the heart like this. So um, in August, um, she wasn't coming forth with the delivery as promised. She started another, um, just another one, another of her badges like she usually do. And then she started the distributorship and all. And um, I work here in the UK, so basically I can't be on the internet 247 trying to track Kachi and uh, delivery and all. But I remember reaching out to her when she did not deliver in August that when is this delivery going to come because you promised August. So she said she was going to deliver in September, the end of September. Um, I remember sending her a message on her page wishing her daughter a happy birthday and telling her to take the whole day off. We are not going to disturb her about delivery and stuff like that. And um, when September was over and I did not hear from Kachi, I decided to send her a message. So I sent her a message and said that this is the end of September. When will delivery be coming? There was no message so when we were in october i waited for a whole full week then i sent another message on the 6th of october that um hello kachi um you have not said anything concerning delivery um it is not nice to keep your customer without no words just keep quiet and then go about your business it is not done that way people pay their money you are supposed to reach out to them even if you are having any shortfall or anything we will understand we are humans we are first of all we are nigerians we understand how things are in nigeria and we understand you would have some difficulties we would definitely understand but reach out to us but if you are not going to reach out to us please i would like my refund because i can't keep trying to track you um every time because so i sent the message to iretiola doyle on our Instagram account to tell her what has happened and how Kachi has blocked me off. Unfortunately, she did not say anything. I got so angry because I've never seen such customer service before. I was born and I grew up in Nigeria. I have never seen such customer service before. You don't take people's money and take them for granted. And I noticed so many people are afraid to ask for this refund because when you ask, she she takes you asking for your refund as an insult and then she would just block you off 
so some other ladies came to me she said she also paid seven hundred fifty thousand. she asked when kachi will be making delivery and she was blocked off then i started hearing a whole lot of rumor about how she blocked a whole lot of people some people from the badge a since 2019 are yet to get their product and haul and then i was so mad i've tried to reach out to her mom she's not answering i have basically private chat all of her mom's friend i have private chatted all the celebrities that i know that have acted with her mom and would have a contact to help me talk to her to refund my money but they all turned up deaf ears so i talked to a few of my friends and they decided to take it on blogs and this issues has been ongoing it has been on blog and my lawyer has even written to kachi she's here to respond i sent somebody to her address they said she's no longer in that address and i am telling people that kachi is not who she is her mom is advertising for her but she would not stand behind you when kachi decided to abscond and this is not a way to do business if we are asking for a better nigeria a good nigeria then it must start with individual of us i can never imagine anyone in the nollywood associating with this kind of attitude or, or human it's so it's so very arrogant it's rude for you to talk to your customer that way so kachi i am telling you me ireti ogo alalade i want my refund back i have not given you this money we had an agreement of business you give me hair i gave i give you money now i've given you money you have not given me hair i no longer want your hair i want my refund back and my refund i will get thank you